Hey guys, it's Rhea here and welcome back to another Sims 4 build video. In today's episode, I once again want to tackle the honeycomb dollhouse style with a slight twist. Everybody who knows me knows that I love like crime shows, specifically uh, Hawaii Five-O, Magnum P.I. and their other sister shows. And I do want to kind of incorporate that in Sims 4 other than the Hawaii-verse save file I am currently working on, uh, mostly off screen, but I will bring it on screen as well. So what I want to do is I kind of want to build a police station in the shape of a honeycomb. So the honeycomb is our standard 3x3 three three diagonal room. Which I will then copy paste into different areas and basically create a shape out of it, which we will then play around with later on. Now, I am already in the process of creating this, and I can only tell you how excited i am about this build it's going to be a challenge i will mostly be using stuff from go to work i believe it's called the pack and i want to basically take everything i can i want to make kind of a makeshift morgue as morbid as it is I also want to have like interrogation areas, the police, chefs, uh, office, the offices generally, just everything that a police station has or any, o any other type of building of the same function. So this over here is our standard honeycomb. Now I will go ahead and actually color the walls. Uh, choose the flooring as well and I will bring you guys back once I'm done with that all right so I do believe this is what we want to have now down in the bottom I chose to have like an examination room for the corpses as well as you know the coolers for the corpses i don't necessarily know from the top of my head how they are exactly called but i hope you know what i mean over in the middle section i want to have a fingerprint taking area maybe uh, a holding cell over here we can also add probably the mugshot area as well i hope i will be able to squeeze it and over here I want to have the interrogation area and up top this is going to be the chief of police's um, office and over here are going to be the sergeants lieutenants uh, and other officers as well as like a small board for the clues and everything else um, I'm not really sure where to actually start but I do think uh, we will be focusing on the bottom two sections because they do come in pair and I want to start with kind of the most difficult one I believe will be to build but yeah I will start with the bottom two cubicles and bring you back once I have the uh, general outline before I clutter it up Okay, I'm done with our first two rooms and I think they look really, really nicely. So this is the area that I was previously talking about where they examine the body and determine the cause of death. And this over here, I am so proud how this little like pullout shelf where the bodies are in the cooler came out. Uh, I am really, really happy about that. And it's just with... I think two debug items, which are these uh, fishing rods and everything else was basically uh, from the base game with uh, the, I think the meditation like uh, pillow from 
it's body from the new re newly released update. I also didn't clutter the area too much because it is supposed to be an examination office type of deal, so it should look neat and pristine with the exception of over here because they do need the tools to uh, determine the cause of death. So what I want to do now is focus on these three rooms. They are kind of similar in, in function because they have to uh, take somebody in, they have to process them in the police station and also uh, the interrogation room where they determine whether or not somebody is guilty. So over here, I have already filtered through to only get to work to see if I can find everything that I need. And I do believe I have to scroll down a bit further. Over here, booking station. I, hmm, I do want to have it like consecutively. So first they have a holding cell, then they process them. And then interrogate them, I guess. Uh, and yeah, this is the first item that I want to use. And I do wonder if I can find the fingerprint machine. Uh, if I remember correctly, there should be one. But I'm not really sure if I can find it at this point. Anyways. This is how I picture it to be. So if we go up here, I believe this should be nice enough for like a holding cell type of deal. Just a couple of benches, nothing too much going on over here. Over here is going to be a bit more dizzy. Maybe I'll add a computer, which is actually not that bad of an idea now that I think about it. So let's go ahead and see if we can we can actually grab a decent table for it. Let's actually go to surfaces and see if there, is, there are any tables. Yes, we can again use the one we used over here. Maybe even put it like so. Go into comfort. Let's actually grab this one now and... A computer that should be in electronics yes I overshot there we go and I do want to have this finger analyzer station over here if I will be able to and over on here what I want to do is since this is a room I want to grab a half wall probably not filtered the almost all half wall let's let's try this one and I don't think I will be able to actually let's go down. Yeah, it won't let me. Hmm. I will have to work around this. Maybe even scoot it over on here. And will it allow me to do it now? Yes. Which is actually perfect. It works out. I can put the table over here, the two-way mirror over here. Let's filter to get to work once again. Go to... Or actually, let's go to show all and... Unlocked content, I believe it is. It's not even a mirror, so it's, it's a window. Yes, the one way... This one, this one, this one. Yes, and then it reflects this side over here. Wonderful. So we can have them standing over here. Maybe some knickknacks in the corner with a table. Which I will just quickly grab while we are at it. Let's again filter through all. Let's see... No, I'm, I'm, I'm getting mixed up again. Not the desk. Surfaces. There is no table. Okay, let's go to base game then. And find ourselves a nice basic table, I would say. Let's 
Or actually, it should be facing this way. Yeah. It should be facing this way, maybe in another swatch like so. And then let's grab some chairs as well. Why is it only showing this one? That's a bit curious. Ah, there we go. So yeah, we'll add this. And yeah, this is the basics done. This is the basic layout done for the upper three rooms. And I will bring you guys back once I have fully decorated them. The second layer of the honeycomb should be all done. I ended up fencing this well fencing this off is probably a wrong word but i did wall it off with these uh jail bars and made it not just a holding cell like i originally wanted to because the room would be empty it still kind of is but i did make it a prison cell as well so we have a bed just a simple uh shower sink and toilet combo over here as well as tiny uh prison bar windows then over here we have the same windows as well as the mugshot area i sadly wasn't able to find the fingerprint uh taker but i do believe that's only available when you are actually uh, remodeling the police station that's in game so that's unaccessible for us I did some decoration, just a few, just a few uh, wall pieces over there, a few cabinets, and I added some files onto the desk because this area does need to be kind of neat, not very decorated at all. And the same goes for the interrogation room as well. I did clutter up the table itself with some uh, evidence and a coffee mug for the police officer interrogating the suspect over here. Of course we have the one-way uh, one window over here as well as some more cabinets and files to help the case. So last but not least we have these two rooms over here which are the Office of the Chief of Police and also the officer's kind of desk area. So I do want to clutter these two rooms up um, significantly more than the rest. So let's go ahead and grab ourselves a very, very nice desk fit for the Chief of Police. Perhaps even this one, maybe in a lighter color, considering the uh, wallpaper and the flooring is kind of dark. Mm, either this one, or I believe this one kind of looks better. And I will put it over on here for the color. Let's go with this, uh, this brown one, and we will give... Give the good sir or madam a nice chair as well. So let's go ahead and grab this bin. Maybe not this one. Uh, 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 let's see actually what we have from get together and base game combined. Not all that much. But let's go ahead and pick something that looks... Not too comfy. Maybe this one. This one after all? Hmm. Let's filter. Let's go through through the chair options again just to be sure that we are not missing on something that could fit in better. I would go with this one. This one actually fits in really nicely, yes. And maybe th this kind of old leathery look. I do like it. Uh, will the chief of police have a computer? I would guess so, yes. So let's give him that. We also want to have a couple of armchairs as well for potential clients slash when people will have to come in for to have quote unquote the talk. 
better on their performance or something else. And let's grab these from... Maybe actually in another swatch. There's a lot of browns involved. But let's leave these for now. These look kind of comfy enough. Or maybe even these. Kind of looks even better. And we can give them... Give it like this, then rotate it as we please. Scoot them a bit closer as well. I do want to have bookcases over in this area as well. Mm. This kind of looks decent. Decent enough and maybe this one on on the back over here. Hmm, I will leave it at this for now. I will also add, of course, uh, more of the uh, clutter over here that we have. So file cabinets and the likes will all be nicely sorted. Maybe even add a couple of windows as well. And for this area over here, I'm not necessarily sure how I want to... Uh, go ahead and go ahead and design this or rather make this work actually let's go filter again or we'll get to work and grab the board this is something I do want to have but this is also very big and let's scoot it over here and I do believe we have room for two desks so let's go ahead and do over this actually three desks now that i think of it and one over here let's also grab chairs let's give them not this one necessarily let's grab a base game computer and this is basically the base we work with for this room. So I will go ahead, uh, swap this out mostly, uh, change the swatches over here, decorate it, and bring you guys back once again. Our final two rooms are done. Now, I haven't toyed all that much with the uh, chief of police's office, but I did add another filing cabinet. I also added this star and I added the industrial loft kit windows because I do think they look very, very nicely and provide the chief with uh, a nice view. I did remove the two bookcases, I believe from uh, Univer Discover University and kept just the one from Get to Work. And I've also found this uh, rug from, I believe, Stranger Will that also kind of uh, adds nice touches, nice uh, accent colors that also bring up a bit more brightness to the room. Now, over here are the uh, offices. It's kind of cluttered. It's a <laughs> bit messy. There's filing cabinets everywhere. There's... Tons and tons of paperwork, boxes full of files, and other knickknacks. I did add a couple of plants just to bring up the mood a little bit to this uh, kind of very stressful looking office area. And I used a panel from Dream Home Decorator to kind of uh, try and simulate maybe some floor plans for additional security checkpoints and some such. And I also added the insignia in the back once more. And that basically concludes our honeybee, honeybee, our honeycomb shell. I do apologize. This is our police station honeycomb. It is kind of on the minimalistic side, but I think it came out really nicely. It has all the necessities that one police station would have 
And yeah, I think this covers all bases for it. Now, of course, this lot is not functional. But it does aesthetically look very pleasing, at least to me. And I'm really, really happy with how this build came out. So if you like this build, if you like this video, uh, maybe you would consider subscribing. Maybe even just liking the video or, or comment your opinions down below. I would really, really want to hear them. But thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for being here. If you want to see uh, what I'm up to in the background when I'm not uh, recording, or if you want to just keep up to date for when I post videos, you can follow me on my social. You can follow me on Twitter at RiaPlaysYT. You can also follow me on Instagram. My Simstagram is Simbuilds by Ria. Or if you want to follow the YouTube Simstagram account, it's Ria Plays. And you can also download this build as well as all others I build and upload on the gallery under Bewitched by Stars. So thank you again so much for watching this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!